Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, my name is Madison and I am a new grad labor and delivery nurse. It sounds so crazy to say it. If you are not already, make sure you follow me on my social medias. My Instagram and TikTok are right here and I am going to try to be a lot more active on there now that I am done studying for the NCLEX. Before we get started, I have such an exciting announcement. You guys, this has been a long time in the making. I have come out with a crew neck and t-shirts. I am so excited. So it's actually one of the ones that I am wearing right now. On the top here we have angel wings and then right here on the side it says be the light in someone's darkest time. And I'm wearing the white one right now. It's like a bluish green font. I am obsessed with it. We have different colors in the crew necks and then we also have t-shirts and I am just so excited to finally like be sharing this with you guys. I wanted something that I say a lot or that means a lot to me and this means so much to me and I'm so excited. So for this first like drop, we do have limited stock just to see how many people are interested. So definitely, definitely go click the link in the description if you want to buy a crew neck or a t-shirt. And I do have one of my t-shirts here, but I literally just got it out of the wash because I wore it. So it's kind of wrinkly right now, but here I have the pink t-shirt. Again, please don't mind, I literally just got the dryer. So it's pink. I just wore this the other day. And, and then it has the same thing at the bottom here. And it's so cute. I love it. Guys, I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait to hear what you guys think. I want you guys to let me know if you end up getting um, a t-shirt or a crew neck. And there are different colors and stuff. And I really just hope you guys like it. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. So yeah, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with how I studied for my NCLEX and passed in 75 questions. So I am going to spill all the tea on how I studied and give you a little insight on what to expect the day of your NCLEX and when you go in and stuff. And I'll do that once I'm done discussing what I did to study. I took my NCLEX March 4th, 2022, and I really started studying a month before. I wanted to study, start studying in January instead of waiting till February, but honestly, my motivation was not there after graduating, and I just wanted to take some time off. I'm gonna get my planner here just so I can see because I planned out all the times that I was studying. So I'm gonna let you guys know when I actually like first started studying. I started studying Monday, January 31st. And what I did to study was I first listened to the Mark Klemek lectures, Mark K. I had no idea who he was until I graduated and a lot of people were talking about him and I'm like, how did I not know about him prior to this? And why did I not like, lesson him while in nursing school because he really breaks it down in a way that makes sense it's easy and he has little ways to remember things which that's how when I study I make up the silliest crazy things that make sense in my mind that will help me remember in the long run so his lectures are awesome you can find them on YouTube and I mentioned in my last video where I was talking about how I studied in a vlog there was a YouTuber named Darian, I believe that's how you say her name. I'll put her uh, video down below, but she shared how she studied for her MCLEX and then she also put a link to like a Google Doc with the Mark Lemec notes and I used those. And so I listened to all the Mark Lemec lectures. There's about, I believe, 14 of them. What I did was I did two lectures a day. So there's 14 lectures. So what I would do is Monday, lectures one and two, Tuesday, lectures three and four, and so on and so forth. So what I did was I had a binder just like this and actually I used my pink one but I'm using my pink one for work now but I just put everything that I used in here so this is what my little NCLEX study binder looks like all right guys so I recommend keeping everything in a binder so I'm just going to show you mine I also had like a little list of things I wanted to review before the NCLEX which that didn't end up happening <laughs> But this is stuff from like my ATI when I had class that I wanted to review, but I didn't. Those are just hanging out in here. So these are some loose leaf pages that um, some additional notes or stuff I just wanted to break down and see like 
and my own writing and stuff like that. And then here's some more things like that. I just like to like see visually like the way I like to do it. Drew some pictures, stuff like that. We have Cushing Man. And again, this is all from Mark Clemec's lecture. And then I just have extra loose leaf here. So I'm going to flip through these notes here so I can show you guys kind of what mine look like. Lots of color. And then I would add some sticky notes if I needed to. Lab values, <laughs> lots of highlighter there. And then these are just some notes like from nursing school, like a chart I had and EKG stuff, but I didn't end up even looking at those. Basically, I printed out all of the uh, NCLEX notes, which I'll link them down below. They're um, linked in Darian's video and I may, I put them in little plastic sheets just so they would stay nice. So that helped me a lot. They literally have like the notes like word for word what he says. They have like little, made little charts and stuff. And so what I would do is I would go through, listen to the lecture, try to limit my distractions. Sometimes I would have to pause the video and just like take a break for a minute. But he kind of keeps you engaged which is nice and he seems like he's like has an awesome personality like it's not just like boring and so once i finished the mark lamac lectures i got uworld and so i got the uworld option where it was the 30 day testing bank so you have access to the uworld for 30 days so 30 day access and i also got where it had one nclex practice exam and i believe it was a little bit more money because you had the practice exam but it was so worth it i love love loved uworld i was freaking out when i started it because i'm like i am doing so bad like i was not doing good and even almost to the end i was getting better but I was still in like the 70% and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I was freaking out. And I was talking to some of my friends who are already nurses and who I know used UWorld. And they're like, yeah, like most people say that they've been having trouble with UWorld or they're not doing as good as they wanted. So it made me feel a little better, but I was like, oh, like I'm not doing it that great. There was a lot of questions and stuff I never heard of. But then I got better as time went on. So I was doing that for probably like three weeks. And I finished every single question the, the day before I took my boards. And I would also go through the ones I got incorrect. And I would answer those questions and stuff like that. And they have like great rationales. And like you can click and you can see like pictures of like certain physiological like disorders. And it really helped me personally that is what i use mark k and uworld amazing and the thing about uworld that i really liked was it's set up just like the nclex so like for example like it's like they have like blue borders and that's exactly how the nclex is set up like it so you're not going in knowing what it looks like you're kind of like prepared and you're like okay like this is what it looks like and it gave me more of like a sense of like ease and i was like okay like just pretend you're doing your uworld questions like you got this and also i thought the questions were trickier than the nclex on uworld and i feel like that like prepared me i would say some of them were harder and then some of them weren't it just depends obviously on the questions that you get and but i like how they were asking you they ask you like various things like obviously you're working on the floor with a nurse and an lpn and a uap you're the nurse and what are you going to delegate to the uap or blah, blah blah okay so like that's they had those on uworld so they had priority questions they had what order should you question to the provider and give you like you know them different pictures of positioning or certain disease processes or place and order and stuff and it, math like 
they really do cover a variety of different things and it made me feel a lot better going into the NCLEX. So I took my exam on a Friday, last Friday. And I took the NCLEX like practice exam that I had bought on Wednesday and I was gonna do it the day before and then I was like, no, let's do it Wednesday just in case. And it like predicts how well you're gonna do on the NCLEX. And I was like, okay, like, yeah, I got this. Like I'm almost done with all the questions. This is gonna be great. So I took it and I got borderline and it was like based on like your results, we can't like really tell. And I'm like, what? Oh my gosh. Like it made me almost freak out like too much. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, and I talked to my one friend and she was like, oh, I got highly likely. And I'm like, girl, oh my gosh. But I kind of like shook that off and I was like, I'm not going to let this like get to me, blah, blah, blah. So what I can say is truly the things that helped me was you world and mark lamec and i've heard a lot of other great things but this is personally what i use and what helped me also i kept all my ati books i've kept all my textbooks and i didn't even open those um at all um and i did have some like free access because ati came to like our school for like a 20 hour nclex review a couple months ago when i was in nursing school so i had access to a couple free like tests and quizzes and i did those like i think for like two days um and i was like okay like i felt like i was doing pretty good on those so i was like let me go back to uworld and i just focused mostly on uworld but if you have stuff like that like kaplan ati i don't know if hesse does that too definitely practice um if you have um already like questions and stuff i would definitely definitely practice that i'm gonna go in to the like night before day of the exam so like I said, the day before the exam, I finished all my Euro questions and then I couldn't fall asleep at night. So I was just going through these uh, Mark Lamech notes. Like I had them on my phone. So I was just reading through them. And I think I got through like eight out of the 14. Is there 14 lectures or is there only 12? I don't know. There may only be 12. I'm not sure. But um, so I got through most of them and I was like, oh, I wish I like reread these earlier because I had done the Mark Lamec lectures like three weeks prior or a month prior and I was like it's not that fresh in my head and whatnot but it was okay and so the morning of I you know woke up I have a whole vlog on it which I can like put down below if you're interested but when I got there we had to wear masks and I made sure I was like comfy and stuff obviously you need like your ID and they did like they scan your hand like your palms and everything like that and I mentioned this in my video too they made me take off my necklace so I had this one on I had this on and they're like oh yeah like if anyone has necklaces on you need to take them off and I had um like post earrings just like like post ones like these like right here so like I didn't have anything here I didn't have hair ties on and so they're like yeah take your necklaces off they made us roll up our sleeves they checked like our wrists rolled up our ankles we had to pull out our pockets they took um, my glasses and she had to like look at them um and stuff like that to make sure I don't know like it wasn't like some high-tech glasses so she looked at those and everything like that and I wanted to say that there were um the workers there were so nice and like had such like a calming presence and were so kind and I feel like that made such a difference because I've heard horror stories people go in and like it just helped that they were nice and I don't even know if they realize how much that truly helps but um yeah so my exam was at eight and we got there early and we were like the first batch of the day so like they sat me and they're like okay they took my picture and you know she searched me whatever and I went in and she was like, okay, like you can start. And I think it was like 7.45, I was like, okay. And I remember like, I was just like, okay, like this is it. Like this is like what you've been working for. And I just took like three deep breaths and I really like took a minute. I'm like, okay, like I got this, like I can do this. And they give you like a little like a laminated like piece of paper with like a dry erase marker and if you like fill it up you can like raise your hand and they'll give you a new one but I did not use mine at all which I was really surprised about um because I'm like a writer but I didn't use it at all and then also they do have like they had like headphones that you could put on but they had like little covers over like the ear pads like surgical like scrub caps or shoe caps so it was kind of like sliding off my head because you can't like bring your own obviously 
but it, it did the job my ears hurt a little bit but it did help like kind of block out everything and we were kind of like all like at desks and they had like big dividers like between them and then in the center of the room was the lady watching you and like a windowed thing and there was like cameras above each person and i just want you guys to know that you can do it I promise you that you can do it. Don't get so in your head about, oh my gosh, like 75 questions, 75 questions. Because I never really thought about it like that. I'm like, oh, like, okay, like 75, like great. Like, I mean, I don't want to be there for the full five hours and have X amount of questions because obviously like you get more tired or not focused. But I was kind of like, when I was on 75, I was like, okay, when you click the next button, because you can kind of see what question number you're on, I'm like, if I have to do more, like, that's totally okay. Like, I am going to just be prepared for that, and that's okay. Like, I was kind of, like, talking talking myself, like, down, like, not to be anxious. Like, it's okay. And then, like, I clicked it, and it, like, it's like you've, like, completed your exam, like, or a survey, whatever. And I was like, oh, gosh. And that's what's so nerve-wracking because if you do finish in 75, you're like, okay, I did really good or I did really bad. And when you leave i haven't talked to any person yet who's been like oh my gosh like yeah like i passed for sure because you don't i feel like it's just like okay like ah uh, you just you you don't know and it's hard waiting um but i did take it at 8 a.m friday and i found out at 6 30 the next morning through an email i didn't like pay for anything for early access or anything like that um they just sent it i really felt prepared going into it and i think it was a mixture of mark lamech you world as well as obviously my nursing program it was pretty brutal and we have a really high percentage of people who pass the NCLEX for the first time from my school and yeah I am just so grateful that I was able to pass the first time and if you don't pass the first time it is not the end of the world like my friend brought up a really good point to me she's like Maddie like if we fail it's not like nursing school where you have to like retake an entire class or you're out of the program you can just retake the exam like it's okay and I know it's like such a pain because I think it's like $200 which is a lot but you are going to pass and I think a lot of times it's not like oh was I prepared what am I smart enough you are prepared because you worked hard and you are smart enough because you you made it through nursing school but I think a lot of time our our anxiety gets in the way our our fear our overwhelming like nervous likeness gets in the way and I feel like I really just tried to calm myself down and was trying not to get in my head about it at all like I was really really trying and I think I did a good job at that because there would have been times like if I had this a couple years ago where I would have been like a complete mess and I truly do think I would have failed not because I didn't prepare or wasn't smart but because of my anxiety and just that fear of failing and if you fail it's okay like get back up and take it again there are so many amazing nurses who had to retake their NCLEX and that's okay it does not make you any less of a nurse also one thing I forgot to say which I truly believe is the reason that I passed is I picked my answer and I moved on. I did not sit and I did not question. Pick your answer, move on. And in the NCLEX, you can't go back, which I think is a good thing because I would always like change my answers. And something cool about UWorld is it shows you like how many you change from incorrect to incorrect or correct to incorrect or incorrect to correct. Like it breaks it down for you, which is really nice. And go with your gut, like what you think and move on that's literally what i did for every single one moved on if i was stuck between two like i i just really tried to use like some critical thinking and again the nclex is like best case scenario perfect world of nursing like you have staff you have all the resources which we know that's not always the case but don't think like okay well this is the order and this could it could have been this and like no it's telling you what it is and just go on that don't make up stuff in your head because that's what I would always do in nursing school so go with your gut click it move on like just keep pushing through and I think that's what really helped me I love you guys so much I am so grateful for every single one of you I am in the process of responding to all of my comments on my last video because I really want to respond to every single person you guys mean the absolute world to me don't forget to click the link below if you want to 
get a crew neck or a t-shirt i'm so excited about this and it just means so much to me that i can share this with you guys finally and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video